Hello everyone and welcome back to Victoria 3. This is going to be a somewhat shorter video and it's going to be all about the investment pool and how it works. The autonomous investment pool that is. So what is the investment pool? Well, let's talk about that. The investment pool is basically money that your people contribute to build their own stuff. And if you click this button here, you can see private construction and these are all the things that your people are constructing with the investment pool. Similarly to government construction, this utilizes your construction points. So they are going to be split between private construction and public construction. Interventionism, for instance, which is the economic type that many great powers start out with, is 50% private construction allocation. So that means that 50% of these construction points will be split between public and private construction. So in this case, 25 would be spent on the government construction and 25 on private. And by paying for these buildings, I mean they are paying for the materials which are used to construct them. The workforce of your construction sectors are always going to be paid by the treasury. So if you're like me and you like spending money that isn't yours, then you're going to want to maximize the amount of construction points which are allocated to private construction. The best way to get more private construction allocation is to go for the laissez-faire economic system. This will give you the highest amount of private construction allocation, but will also give you plus 25% capitalist and shopkeeper contribution and efficiency. This means you can spend more of the investment pool, which you want to do. Every cent that is in the investment pool that isn't being spent is just sitting there not doing anything. But what is contribution efficiency, I hear you ask? Well, let's go into where the investment pool comes from. So shockingly, all this free money actually does come from people. Specifically, it comes from the owners of your industries and building. The amount of contribution that you get from your buildings depends on who is the owner. Not all people give the same amount of money. But the main thing you want to remember is that capitalists, aristocrats, shopkeepers, and farmers are the only people that give to the investment pool. There is a default rate of contribution, which you can see on screen now that I dug up from the wiki. So for example, this textile mill ha is owned by shopkeepers, as we can see here. So they are going to do some reinvestment as the game puts it. So they're going to give some of their money up for me to spend. However, this art academy, I have set it so that is completely employed by students and students don't give any money to the government. So we can see here that there is no reinvestment. If we were to look at this tooling workshop we have here, it is owned by capitalists and they have a higher amount of contribution than any other pop type. So if we hover over this, we can see that the reinvestment in from this building is a lot higher than the other one. The reason it is so high is also because I have laissez-faire. As I mentioned earlier, this increases the amount of contribution that you get from capitalists. And in fact, all of these economic systems here have something to do with contribution efficiency. As we can see here, traditionalism makes it so you get a whole lot less from your everyone. It also gives you very low private construction allocation. Agrarianism makes it so that your farmers and your aristocrats contribute more, but your capitalists contribute less. Interventionism really doesn't do anything. And command economy straight up turns off the whole mechanic. It should also be mentioned that if a building is not generating a profit, such as this steel mill, mill here, despite the fact that it is owned by capitalists, this is not contributing anything to the investment pool. That is because they don't have any money to contribute to the investment pool. There are also certain technologies which increase the amount of contribution efficiency you get from people, such as postal savings here, which give you more investment contribution from farmers and shopkeepers. Another source of investment, shockingly, comes from the government, actually. Well, not necessarily. You see, the approval rating of the landowners and the industrialists is very important here. So sucking up to these two interest groups can be very effective. And the same with the industrialists for capitalists. If the landowners are happy, that means they have over 10 approval, then you'll get this bonus, which will give plus 10% aristocrat contribution. So that's the end of the video. I hope you learned a thing or two about the super cool investment pool. Goodbye.